Look at the rabbit activity. Now, yes, there are some deer tracks mixed in here, but the majority of this is rabbit. These waboos have been hungry, getting their corn. So, yesterday, as I was working on the shed, I had a whole bunch of geese and ducks landing in the cornfield, and that was kind of cool. Um, I thought about trying to record some of the duck sounds. I love the way mallards sound when they're feeding. Tuck, 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 tuck. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I, I love duck hunting. That's one of my favorites. Duck hunting and bow hunting are probably my two favorite hunting sports. But, um, yeah. Oh, man, I can see that dog proof from here has nothing in it. So that's two down. Two dog proofs with nothing. But... Well, we'll keep going. I'm going to check these snares in that other uh, canine set down on the corner. Nothing over there. So it might be a slow morning, guys. It might be a short video. You're thinking, thank goodness, geez, these long ones are killing us. So, <laughs> All right. Have a great day. I'm interfering with the plans of this little tiny flock. They were going to land right where I'm at, but I was walking here. Looks like they're gonna go out into the into the hay field. Although who knows? Sometimes you know, and you waterfowlers out there, you know that they'll come down a level, do another circle, come down a level, do another circle. So it's hard to say where they're gonna land. To be honest, they could just be dropping the altitude. But anyway, kind of interesting. I I sure. Oh, there's a couple of couple of stragglers. No, you can hear them. They landed. They get real excited when they land or when they take off. So, Okay, here we go. Well, for any of you that find humor in my day-to-day -day antics, you'll just love this. <sighs> Fur on the line. Fur on the line. Catch pole is going to pay for itself, no question. Well, he's only got a white head. Hey, buddy. <laughs> he's like, whoa, I saw some. That's kind of neat. He's only got a white head with a white tip on his. Uh, I know the white ones are the ones that they want. Boy, he's little. He's just teeny weeny. Look at the size of the trap compared to him. I know you guys can't see it, and my fingers are too cold to zoom. So, all right, I'm going to keep moving past him and uh, I'm going to go get my catch pole. Hey, you can see the house from here. That's all I got to do is walk straight to that garage, get, grab the, the the dispatch pole, and come back. And thankfully, the wind, you can see which way the wind's going with the snow, I think. Um, I'll be able to get to him no problem. Here we go. Okay. Through the magic of digital photography, you guys were spared the huffing and puffing and grunting of me crossing this muddy cornfield. Um, I tried to stay on the highest ground possible, but <laughs> it was still pretty muddy. I was surprised how muddy it was. So, here I am. I'll stay on the edge from now on. Uh, I'm going to just show you this. I'm going to try to show you this dispatch because I didn't get a chance to on the last one. Let me show you how I'm doing it. Okay, so there is the end of the dispatch pole. Needle capped, um, the cap is on. You just slide that cap off, really. Um, I need two hands to do it though, so hold on. Okay, so once the cap is off, you've got your syringe. You can actually, sorry, you can take your syringe right out of the cap. If you're really talented, you can do it without making yourself look stupid on film. Unfortunately, that's not me. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let me uh, let me grab the acetone. I brought a little bottle with me, not a big one. All right, so now I'm doing this all like one-handed. This is kind of interesting, actually. Take the cap off the needle. Put the needle in the acetone. Draw the plunger. Oh no, I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Alright, I can't do it. But anyway, you guys, you know how to take liquid out of a vial with a syringe. So here. 
Okay, syringe is loaded. I'm going to put the cap back on, slide it back on the tube. Now, just like downtown, we got that. I'm going to take the cap off real quick. Okay, I got the cap off. I know I'm recording nothing but the ground. But hey, this is one of my videos. It's like that's how the excitement rolls. Okay, walking down to the other end. Now, this was the addition. I don't remember if I should use this. I just drilled a hole in here and put a nail through it so that the plunger couldn't depress. Well, then I realized, duh, why don't you just not put any acetone in until you get to your spot? So let me just take this nail out real quick, or at least get it ready to take out. Okay, here we go. I'm not showing you anything. That's awesome. All right, now the best part about this is that I've... Um, I have a great walkway up to him, and he's really, he's pretty calm, considering his circumstances. I'm not a big fan of the way he's facing right now, Injecting. It's all in. He got the full dose, 12 cc's. Alright, so he hasn't sprayed yet. Whew, my hands are cold. So that took about, I don't know, he says no, it's not the end. Can you see him shaking his head? No. I'm just kidding. He's, uh, it probably took a little less than two minutes. Um, probably, and actually it's probably closer to a minute. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, my fingers were too numb. So it sucks to have a frostbite when you're younger. You young people out there, protect your hands, your feet, and your face from frostbite. Because when you get to be my age, which isn't that old really, it comes, it's a vengeance. Yeah, he's done now. He's totally done. So that was quick. Uh, he didn't get all riled up. He didn't spray. So uh, I'm going to give him another minute and I'll probably uh, reset this trap real quick. So here we go. Okay, uh, got him on the trap. Uh, I only brought one pair of nitrile gloves, so I'm going to be taking care of him and taking care of this trap and putting the camera away but I wanted to show you how cool he looks he's just got one little patch of hair and then he's got a little tiny white tip on his tail yeah, he's kind of a neat looking little feller he's pretty small though look how small he is so anyway I'm gonna take care of him and I'll I'll see you guys back at the house or somewhere 